Over on Instagram and TikTok, I kept getting asked how I use a phone as a camera monitor. This is a very specialized phone known as the Sony Xperia Pro that features a unique micro HDMI connectivity and it gives me near zero latency video feed because it takes the common HDMI. Hell, I can even use this on my Apple TV or the Nintendo Switch. That's, That's ridiculous. ridiculous. But using a phone as a camera monitor is not, and a lot of people want to know how. Unfortunately, this is a very expensive solution. So uh, if you're loaded, see my affiliate link down below. Which is why the follow-up question that I kept getting asked was, can we also do this on an iPhone? The answer is yes. And Android too? Sure. For free? Well, yes and no. So there's two options that you can do. Number one is Sony's Imaging Edge app, which is completely free. And there's also the Monitor Plus app, which is free, but there's also a paid version as well. So we'll start off with Imaging Edge first and the pros and cons of it. Pros, it can control all of your camera parameters, you know, shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. And you can switch between different shooting modes and video formats. You can also enable grid lines as well. What's great is that you can also tap to track focus and see that tracking box on your phone. And if you select a small, medium, or large focus box, you can see those and move them around as well. And most importantly, there's a remote shutter. So perfect if you're shooting YouTube videos alone and you want to control the start and stop of your recording. Overall, very minimal latency. Now, cons, there is no pinch to zoom to double check focus just because the resolution being wirelessly transmitted is too low. And there is no playback, so you can't really review your footage on the phone, even though there is a playback button. That just shows you what photos and videos were transferred over. Also, in the app, you cannot change things like picture profile or creative profile, which is odd considering you can effectively change so many of the other settings and there are no pro monitoring features. Things like zebra, peaking, false colors, LED preview. And you really can't expect it to have all that. I mean, it's a free app. It just has basic monitoring feature, which I assume most people that are watching, that's all you guys need. But the paid version of Monitor Plus does, so uh, keep on listening. So we'll move on to Monitor Plus now, and we'll talk about the free version first. Pros. This one also has basic monitoring features like Imaging Edge, but it even has Histogram. You can also change the camera parameters, change file format, record settings, frame rate, and even toggle between auto and manual focus. This one too also has remote shutter. And funny enough, you can change picture profiles in the menu. Not creative style though, just picture profiles. Now, from what I've heard, Android users can also pipe in directly to their device via a USB-C OTG cable and use the app and not suffer too much latency. Unfortunately for iPhone and iPad users, it's all wireless only. So let's go ahead and move on to the cons. Again, no pinch to zoom to check focus just because the resolution is so low and there's no ability to play back what you've recorded. You can't see the focus spot, which is only a limitation on the free app and it can't do focus tracking as far as I know. For the Pro Monitor features, you will need to unlock it with a one-time payment of $18.99. God, I sound like an infomercial. I promise you this video is not sponsored by Monitor Plus. It is, however, sponsored by Squarespace, which you'll find out more at the end of this video. Now, the one-time payment of $18.99 isn't terrible in the grand scheme of things, considering even a cheapo monitor off Amazon right now is at least 100 bucks. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the pros of Monitor Plus, the paid version. Pro Monitor features, right? Zebra, peaking, false color, LUT preview. It even has anamorphic D-squeeze if you're using an anamorphic lens. That's, That's ridiculous. ridiculous. You can even do focus pull manually, though the uh, accuracy is questionable. And there's even an Apple Watch extension. Sorry, Android users. So for less than 20 bucks, it's a bang price for all of this, but at the end of the day, it's no dedicated monitor. So what are the trade-offs? Here's our experience so far. The resolution is quite low on both of these apps, and that goes for Imaging Edge as well. And even though we have peaking with the Paid Monitor Plus app, I'd still get anxiety over whether or not I'm in focus. There's no pinch to zoom to double check focus like the Xperia Pro. Well, that obviously can output the full 4K, so that's a different story. Next is latency, and on Imaging Edge, it's not too bad. It's actually pretty decent. For the Monitor Plus, paid or free, the latency could be a lot. At times, it can be decent, but chances are it can be painfully laggy. So here's what I'll say. 
check the list to see the camera compatibility first and test it out with your Sony model before committing to that $20 purchase. Now, commenting on the Apple Watch compatibility. It's pretty dope to see a live feed on your watch. But again, if the latency between the camera and the phone is already this drastic, well, you can expect the watch to be even more behind. And because they're app-based and so dependent on wireless connectivity, it just sucks to have to wait for them to reconnect to the camera every time. And if the app crashes or something goes wrong, you would have to go through that whole process again. But if you're plugging in a cable with Android, I did hear that process is a lot smoother. So in conclusion, between Imaging Edge and Monitor Plus the free version, Imaging Edge does have a slight advantage with a better latency. Unless of course you're constantly switching between different picture profiles, which probably isn't gonna be very likely. But for less than $20, you unlock the extra potential with the Monitor Plus app that beats out the Imaging Edge app. And it might be more worth it to Android users. But if you want something affordable and works fairly decently, you may still wanna consider a dedicated monitor, even if it's a cheap $100 one off Amazon. If you enjoy the info and wanna support the channel, there's an optional monetary tip known as super thanks down below, or simply stick around and listen to what my sponsor Squarespace has to say. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to create beautiful websites, no coding knowledge whatsoever. Perfect for people like me because I just wanna make YouTube videos for you guys and not have to worry about coding my entire website. Simply just select one of their templates to get started. Every aspect is easily customizable with their drag and drop feature. Whether you're in need of a portfolio, an e-commerce store, or even a simple blog, design it with Squarespace. Use my link down below to test it out. And when you're ready to launch your first website or domain, use my code Jason Vong to save 10% off. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.